So what we'll be working with today is a stereo zoom microscope. So the technology hasn't changed substantially in, in centuries now. But the beauty of the machine is this is one that's all digitized. It's all on the computer and it's all computer controlled. So we have very precise control of the microscope, uh, digital cameras, we get instant feedback. So when we see an interesting feature that cannot be uh, examined by the naked eye, we can put it under the microscope and elucidate more information out of it. So in this case, Dr. Owsley brought us uh, a young woman's mandible in, and we can clearly see there's some cut marks on it. And if we turn it over on the other side, we can see some other tool marks on the bottom here. And we can visually see that, but when we put this under the microscope, we'll be able to blow that up. And now this really begins to tell us a story of what's going on. So we put the sample under the microscope, turn the camera on. We have a live view on the screen. We can see exactly what we need to see. We can move around. We can zoom in. And as you increase this magnification, we really get to see a story being told here. Just looking at this one picture, we can see we have a very, very sharp knife. We can see that there's some sort of a sawing motion going on. And these are very, very light nicks, uh, very light, very tentative cut marks. So we looked at the mandible earlier, and now we're going to look at look at a dog mandible that's been that we know was butchered at Jamestown as well. Much larger cut marks. Okay, more force. You can see how it's chipped away at this sample. Now this tentative scratching. Now this sawing motion, just one forceful blow until you get to the end, you can see it cut right off. And they really came in there hard, chipped the bone away. You didn't see any of that with the, with the, with the young lady.